Hello everybody, Sift here again with another first to first fungeon run. And today I'm gonna be doing a run with Sir Hawk a lot, this guy. Um, he is fire based, he is, has a bunch of strength, so that means he has a lot of health and uh, regen and whatnot, and also contact damage, a little bit of less movement speed, less intelligence, and not that much luck. We're gonna of course fix all that. For items, I'm gonna go with melting feet and dragon tail, so we throw out flames whenever we attack, and also we um, throw out the fireball whenever we dash, and get also more dashes and health. I'm gonna go full on fire build, by the way. And also where you're going to use the Orb of Fire wand and the Honk a lot paddle as the other wand. So uh, let's get into this and hope that this build is going to be oh, specifically only fire focused. So my main weapon is this thing. It shoots out this little orb and then the right click is this explosion. Boom. And then the other weapon is this. Oh, like we, we fling this thing around, which all the time goes around on its own. I can just, um, you know, click this a lot of times. Now, of course, there is also the trick that if I spam this, if I click, if I keep this clicked, look, the, the flames are shooting out pretty often. So that's nice. And the right click of this is it rattles wherever it is at that moment, which what a weird weapon, I have to say. I'm not sure I'm going to use this, but, you know, it exists. It exists. It exists. I can do like that. Did I just get hit by this thing? I guess I did. Anyway, let's kill it. Let's kill the thing that just damaged us with fire and flames. I'm gonna go with uh, with maybe I should go with that combo. I think I'm gonna play the fire caster to be honest. It's also spam our dashes for sure because the idea here is that we will be using the dashes. Let's go through. By the way, I'm recording this video on the same day, so I'm not really sure if people enjoy this or not. I guess you got two videos out of this. I hope you guys happen to enjoy this. Otherwise, I don't think we're gonna see another video tomorrow. <laughs> uh, and we're, I'm gonna rotate over to something else. And here I should only find fire, or at least a lot of fire. I'm gonna definitely go into luck as much as I can, so we find more money and more XP and whatnot. Uh, gain 20% movement speed, 3% attack speed, 3% 1 damage whenever half health and lower. Or movement speed and dash damage. Let's go with movement speed and dash damage. Uh, movement speed definitely being an issue of this guy. And dash damage definitely being part of this guy's arsenal. What is this little heart? Plus strength. I'm strength lover, I guess. The character is a strength character anyway. Let's see what we can steal. Nature resistance and HP regen. Yeah, that's nice. Effect damage on attack speed, yeah, that's also nice. And item quality and one damage, that's also nice. Let's steal everything, it's gonna rain meteors and opponents are gonna be running a bit faster. Which, uh, it's okay, we got this, we got this. A uh, bunch of resistances, hover over any stat, okay. Resistances, berserk, and then what's this, choir? At the closest enemy, every 4 seconds, dealing 60% of your contact damage, does not scale with effect damage. Yeah, but we have a lot of contact damage because we are in strength. 2.5? What? 0 0.2 region, oh, it's per point, per point, per point. Uh, parry, uh, apply pressure, blade dance, burning blade, a bunch of things. Should I go for resistances? You know what? Oh, let's get the let's, let's get the wand. Forget defense. Might as well lose, you know. <laughs> I mean, no, of course not. Defense is important, but it's uh, it's not the most important. You know what? I would like to test the wand uh, for a moment. Just swinging the wand all around. Wall, wall, wall. Nah, nah. I think flame is better. I think fire is better. Let's break the chest to get some money out of this. It's still raining. This is new, heavy. Regain 50 and plus 5 health on block. Oh, that's a lot. Cool on 10 seconds. Wait and gives you block. Nice. Regain 50% of your health on level up. This got changed. This is not what it used to be yesterday. I guess they patched this game. Um, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm shooting this. Uh, okay, I lied. <laughs> I shot this one day after. But the first video didn't actually get uploaded. So it's practically the same day as I have no idea if people enjoy this or not. Slash cooldown is reduced to two seconds plus three strength. Um... Yeah, I guess uh, this is the slash that has a four second cooldown, or I can go for heavy. Let's go for heavy. That sounds a lot better. Oh yeah, and I just realized that the slash completely got changed. Now it's an actual slash that appears next to you. It's not a random sword that appears over over. Unless that was something completely different. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I guess it is what it is. So now they also have like a new character in the again in the beginning screen that you can theoretically unlock. Whoa, what is that? Okay, they definitely changed things up, man. Okay, let's continue exploding. Let's continue throwing these out. So let us uh, go and destroy everything. Shoot that out. And let's rush over and let's see what we get. Hopefully fire. Oh, we found a flame sword plus zero. Very disappointing, the plus zero. Ice arm plus 0.2 is very disappointing. I guess we're gonna go with this. A burning sword swipes around you every 4 seconds, dealing 95 damage. Minus 2 HP regen, which is bad, but we get lifesteal and we get contact damage. Literally a burn build. Damage resistance, movement speed less, but all more weight. Retaliate with ice shards that deal 40 damage when taking damage or blocking the hit. Let's go here. Let's go with the flame sword. We're gonna go full on fire build. 
Plus 500 health. Uh, people do all kinds of things with swords nowadays. Okay, whatever that means. <laughs> oh, the, the, the sword seems awesome. I like it. I like how it flings around. Dash into them. I think dash is pretty important to use with this class character or whatever. You want to call it dash. 20 luck minus 10 strength. That's almost going to change the build up. Survive a killing blow every 25 seconds. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with this. Let's get 20 luck. So now I'm at 50 luck, I would assume, right? Where's my luck? Yep, 50 luck. Nice. So now we're actually... Whoop, I didn't want to change the build. Uh, cards here. I didn't want to change weapons. So now I got 300 life, which is literally the opposite of what I used to be previously. Borderline not even playing the character correctly. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Uh, the more luck you have, the better items you find. Therefore, I should build up the build slowly through the power of luck. And also the other thing that luck gives you, as far as I understand, is how much XP you find on the ground. Which I might be wrong, because it says item quantity. And the only items that drop is money and... You know, that's it. <laughs> Money, uh, maybe some items once in a while. Not items, activatables, I guess, or passives, or whatever. No, actually, not passives, definitely not passives. Most of the time, you find buffs, I guess, on the ground. The resistance is two lifesteal, even more lifesteal. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. It requires Bernie. I don't have Bernie. Uh, required by Bernie. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go for this. Bernie is a very high damaging thing. We had that one time, and... I can say guarantee that it's crazy strong. So let's hope we're gonna find Bernie to carry us. Nature resistance and contact damage. I mean, that's a yes. See? Fire damage, crit hit rate, pick up amount, attack speed. That's a guaranteed yes. Wait and pick up amount. Pick up amount. What does pick up amount mean? How much loot you find? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I theoretically want that. Double damage on enemies. 117 resistance. I don't think so. Uh, I'm also not sure about the weight thing. I'm not sure about this. 5% XP. Ah, let's go with this. Assuming that pickup amount is XP gain, as I said. That's my assumption, how much XP you find. No points are supposed to do, be doing double damage here. I don't really care about that. To be honest... Oh, the shields seem to activate based on where you move? Yep, shields seem to be activating based on where you move. And then they also activate on their own. So it's a double play. Plus strength, nice, that's nice. Very nice, let's rotate over here, pick up the money. Dash is ready. Let's move the camera forward. Whoop, let's run away from the boss I just triggered. Let's also kill the backline. Let's not forget we have uh, lifesteal forever, pretty much. So, as long as I'm not getting one shot and I survive, we will be good to go. I find Bernie, we take this right away. Lovely dragon flight by your side, and boss flames every 0 0.5, 60 fire damage, and plus um, crazy fire resistance, dragon hunter, and speed is what we it requires, and it, it unlocks dragon horde. Yeah, we're gonna go for this for sure. Slash the closest enemy on block, and a bunch of block. We'll definitely go into block. Now, because I don't have anything water-related, and anything... Electricity and whatever related. Theoretically, dark fire. What does this mean? Do I go in here? Whoa. Oh, it's a boss. It's a boss. And we know who this is. Okay, hopefully a card's gonna appear at the top right. Explaining who this is. This is the girl from... The girl from... Um, something something fire. No, the, the name. her name is fire, actually. Straight up. Her name is fire. Her name was fire. And now she's using abilities here from the game, I guess. Well, it doesn't matter because I have lifesteal and you're in there and also healing. So, uh, not only do I have lifesteal, but also I don't only have one lifesteal, even I have two sources of lifesteal one from the sword and one from the passive I just picked up. You know what? We're gonna wiggle you to death. Whoa, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, she's defending? Whoa, 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 why is she defending? Please stop having a de de defense shield here. I guess it's their final move. Yeah, she seems, she seems to be damage immune. I hope there isn't some kind of secret thing I need to do. Yeah, she was just damaged me when that was it. And now she's back to having the health she had. Oh man, we're fighting an actual boss fight here. I love it. I love it. Although a bit early in the run, I would say. Maybe wait for us to build up a, you know, a class or something. No, not like within literally the first boss fight. I mean, that's the second, not literally the first. Literally the second, maybe third. We're fighting. We're fighting. Maybe should have gone with the meteor thing. But I do enjoy the, the honk a lot thing. Does she do less now? Looks like she does less. Let's stay away from her. As we are... Um, it's easier to dodge as far as I'm away from her. Let's avoid... Oh, I got hit. Heal me. No, we're dying. No, we're dying. I got her. I got her. Got her. And we got luck up. And we got agility up. And I hope we're gonna find her. We'll fight her every time. She gave us like almost a level. And here she is. Character unlocked fire from her name was fire. Two wands, blue flame, and thunder blade. 
Love it. I really love that they synergized. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. We didn't have that yesterday. I'm pretty sure if you played the game yesterday, I mean... Uh... Yeah, we didn't have that last one. Anyway, Dragon Claws is a fire claw weapon, 0 0.1 and 1.9 on the expanded crystal blocks. A hit every 12.2 seconds, but guaranteed movement speed less. Or gain 0 0.4 lifesteal and 5.1 5 movement speed every time you kill an enemy. Stacks up to 5 times, losing 1 stack every 4 seconds. Or with lose stacks, but contact damage plus 1%. I would like to go for this, but no, I'm sorry. We're going to go for the guaranteed freeze. The guaranteed block. And uh, I will hope... This. Did you know that you are two ice crystals, not luck? You know, now the downside is that I am into ice. So now we're going to start finding ice upgrades. So the build itself is going to become worse. Yeah, here you see ice upgrades. You know, intelligence on every second level up. We take this right now. <laughs> we take this right now. Uh, the earlier you get that thing, the more busted it's going to be. So uh, we just got something very busted very early. So intelligence, by the way, is damage. So that's every two levels we're going to be gaining damage without even needing to invest in this. So I'm super happy about it. I didn't even see the other two upgrades, by the way. Maybe a mistake on my part, but that doesn't really matter, I think. On got a lot. On got a lot. Dun, 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 dun. I like this character. Go with a flippity flip. Here we go. Kaboom. Ah, kaboom. Ah, kaboom. <laughs> this is just madness is happening. Hoppa, hoppa, hoppa. Hop. <laughs> this is just straight up stupid weapon, but I love it. Let's see what we can ignite. Fire damage applies burn on enemies for 40% of its damage. Scales with effect damage. Yes on that. Guaranteed. My plan, by the way, is to get like 100 luck and then rotate over to going for... And then rotate over going for strength because this character is strength based. So what is this chest? Is it something good? Maybe. Hey, we got strength. Nice. More strength, more health. More health, more power to us. Of course. Uh, I don't think fire is strength-based. Would be nice if every element had its own damage source. Let's see what we can get. He is still throwing meteors in enemy speed. Light damage, useless. Crit hit rate, decent. Effect damage, good. Block, good. Uh, block and health, that's actually extremely good for us. And dash damage, dash rate, water resistance, fire damage. This is also extremely good for us. Enemies, health, enemies, damage, everything. Make them everything. Everything is crazy. We made the game extremely harder for no reason. No, of course we had a reason. And that reason is we power up. And also, even if they do double damage, it doesn't matter. When, the, when their main damage is 3D, it doesn't matter if it becomes 60. It will matter later when uh, their main damage is like 150 and it becomes 300. Uh, heal on level up or that, or gain 30% attack speed and you didn't take damage. Honestly, this is never gonna happen. Let's go with uh, having a second revive, because why not? I mean, when I say a second revive, I mean a second life, because I don't have a revive. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess 25 second cooldown on that is actually extremely good and strong, as far as I'm concerned. And we got more luck for free, very nice. We aren't really getting hit from anything. Whoa, water bubbles. Let's continue exploding. Whoa, dash through. And let's continue going on. For some reason my mind is like thinking of some random things right now. Ah, let's continue. Boy, dash through. I think it's showing everything we find. Slash the closest enemy on block. And 20% block. How much block do I have right now? Can I read this please? Excuse me, but... Here. 17. Okay, that's not all. Reduces the cooldown of soul of the badger by 20 seconds. Oh, 2 20 seconds. You gain 20% damage resistance when your health is below 50%. Insane and good. That lingers. And also crazy nature resistance. This is really good. Dragon Horde. With every fire item you have, Bernie grows by 10% and deals 12 more damage. This is insane. Requires three... Yeah, this is... You go into fire build completely. I'm gonna take this though for now. And uh, we will get the Bernie buff later if I find it again. If I don't find it again, huge mistakes were made. Uh, but for now, you know... Eh, maybe I should do the opposite, right? Maybe I should have gone with... Um, first get the Bernie buff and then... Get the other thing. What happened there? Something happened over there. I got like stuck for some reason. I'm trying to use the dash for damage, but it always backfires up to this point, so let's stop doing that. Let's stop using the dash for damage. What is that? Agility, even more movement speed and attack speed. Why do I have crazy attack speed? I got some kind of thing here. Explode him. Explode him. Yeah, I definitely should have gone with some kind of ranged weapon. Okay, for the next time I'm gonna play this, I'm gonna remember. Have one ranged, have one melee, so that the boss fights you can just literally be at the other side of the screen and not care about it. Right, let's see. Can I get 0 0.3? Are you serious right now? I mean, this is the ice. Grand Lich. That, that's definitely not something I want. Plus one. Uh, spawn it. Uh, yeah, spawn it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess this. Chance to grant you attack speed. Speed on glove when you kill an enemy close to you. I guess this. Although the fire one was lifesteal for, for killing. You know what? Let's get the skeletons. Intelligence to lose a bit of strength. It's a rare glove at least. Darkness. Nah, I don't know. We're gonna take this. Let's go. 
It's so creepy that most of you have skeletons inside of us. Ooh. <laughs> and now we have a skeleton armada to tank for us, which isn't really that bad. Of course, there are better things that we could have gotten. Now we're going to start finding darkness things. Unless I don't understand how the game works. A burning blade. Quest. Hit 50 burning enemies with slash. Reward. Your slash deals fire damage. Deal uh, is increased by 50. Fire damage. Damage is increased by 50. Wow. Quest. This is a new thing that also didn't exist. Neutral fire. Fire. Neutral. I'm gonna go with this once again, assuming that we're gonna find that later. Because we need to get the quest going, right? So now I need to be super melee so that the quest is happening. Hit burning opponents is not really that easy to do. 5% speed. Only bosses are like freezing all the time. Let's try to stay close to this guy as he's burning. Nice, nice. Is anything else burning? I mean, everything is burning in general. <laughs> Just to be clear about that. Everything we attack is burning. We have a guaranteed application of burn. Does that mean that we also have a guaranteed lifesteal? Like, while opponents are burning, do we heal from them? That would be nice. I'm definitely gaining a bunch of levels because of this lag idea. Slash it to the close enemy on block. That's a definite yes. We're gonna take that. Saw the red 10 resist and everything, but right now we want to get the slash going. So, um, yeah. I do want to be to create a block build, by the way. That sounds awesome. As an idea, at least. Or at least to me, you know. Dash through. And uh, what is this? He's still... No, nah, he's not that crazy. Water resistance, effect damage, one damage, that's a yes. Fire resistance, electricity damage. Ah, that's not a, not really a yes. And electricity resistance, contact damage is definitely a yes. And let's go. Everything becomes even harder, once again, because I'm stupid like that. And let's continue with the run. At some point, we're gonna find better things that uh, we would like to steal. And um, at that point, it will be too late because the game is already too hard or something crazy. Plus end. Nice. We become smart. I, uh, I tried to get this this quest going, you know the the get more get more flames going or whatever. Twenty percent one damage experience gain or this. Uh, let's go experience gain. To be honest, uh oh, this dog is barking. Uh oh, uh oh. By the way, let's not forget every time I block, I heal. That's why I'm healing once in a while. I'm saying let's not forget, but I am the one that forgot. I just tried to remind myself by saying that aloud, aloud. I'm allowed to say it aloud. What am I even talking about? Nobody knows boss stage. Whenever you see this pentagram in the middle, that's a boss stage right there. Stay away from me. Let's get him. We got a little... Oh, we got hit. We got blocked. We got 66 life. What are you? Where are you trying to go? This guy's over here running away. After reaching five more levels, gain 20 block and three regen. Of course, this is crazy good. What is Dark Mage? Enemies shoot three bones that deal 40 damage when they die. Get intelligence, get darkness damage, but lose HP. No, we're gonna go here. In five levels, I'm gonna be gaining crazy defense in region. I love that, by the way. I love these uh, upgrades that are slow. Here we go. Fire Maw. Here we go. Breathe Fire every 3.2 seconds. 83 damage, 4 strength, and 33 fire resistance. This... What? Demonic Grand Lich Ribcage. Does this mean it's maxed out? Because it says plus 2.9, and I have that as 0.1. Darkness. Demonic Armor. This legendary home against Demonic Armor. Summon three skeletons when taking damage, blocking a hit. 42% health, neutral resistance, and agility. You lose agility. This is what I'm supposed to get. I want this though, but this is what I'm supposed to get. What's my fire resistance? 35% and for strength. This is so much more what I actually want. And this is what I actually should take. So uh, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take the demonic lich armor. If you collect all other parts, maybe you can build a lich. Ooh, is that... Is that like a is that like a suggestion or um or what's the idea here? Maybe that is a thing. Maybe that is a thing. I don't even know. But now we're getting uh, now we're getting liches on. Um, yeah, now we're getting liches pretty much every time. <laughs> so now the only thing I'm missing is a head, as far as I know. Let's pause here. Yep, only a head is missing. So theoretically, theoretically, there is a chance we're gonna find the same head again. And also theoretically, there is a chance we're gonna find it as a better version, right? Because um, we will have more luck when we get there. Brave Bird! This is only for Sir Honk a lot. 50 contact damage and 12 strength. Otherwise, we can go with Darkness Mage. Or oh, 70% chance someone's skill on kill. You may have up to 5. And then if you get this, it gives you so many things. I don't want to go into this build. I, I just straight up don't. I am uh, I would like to stay in this uh, the fire build I'm going for. But say, if you're supposed to follow the path of... what What is this? What is this? I'm first time seeing that in my life. What is that guy? It feels like a mini boss or something, and it has a lot of life. That is the main weird thing here. Not what exactly it is, but the fact that it is like that. 
Okay, we're still a bit evil. Nature resistance, weight, water damage, and nature damage. No, not really. Uh, pick up amount, yes. Water resistance, yes. HP regen, yes. Nature resistance, yes. This is a yes. Effect damage, yes. Light damage. Ah, these are no. Uh, let's just take this double damage on enemies. So we're gonna slowly build it down. Like, as long as you gain only one card at a time, it will start becoming less and less dangerous. Hold on is reduced by two and you get strength. Let's take that too. And uh, we're still very close. We're very close to getting 100, by the way, on the luck stat. I don't know. I like the number 100. It's not like it means anything in this game. As far as I know, there isn't any passive that says at 100 luck you can get it. Get those coins. Continue throwing out opponents. What does the dragon do as damage? Feels like it does less than what I do, which is very disappointing. By the way, I have 687 life, so I definitely should invest in two more strength. Whoa, 69 damage taken. Nice! 20% one damage, I enjoy that. Burning enemies emit flames that can spread the burn. Okay, I'm gonna take this most likely. After dashing cooldown. After dashing? Slash after dashing. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we're gonna take this. I see this though. One damage. Let's go with burn into burn. Once again, every time we get burn, we power up Bernie. Right? So, um, because ev every single fire buff I get, Bernie gets a smidge more damage and becomes a smidge bigger. So we gotta keep that in mind. Actually, do I even have that passive? I'm starting to think that I don't even have that passive. There is a chance that I don't have that passive. I'm just, you know, talking. What is this guy? What are these, man? Is this. Why is he chasing us down like that? Stay away from me, you demon. Um, yeah, demon. Straight up. <laughs> I mean, we are in first of first dungeon after all, so demons are very much a thing here. I'm keeping them at bay. My explosive bolts and my normal bolts. It would be nice if you could somewhere see. By the way, I'm still level 18. Uh, I, I know that you get epic talents at level 20, so level 20 is like a very big cutoff point. And we just got a skeleton that just won into death. Stay away from me. I mean, I'm the one going in, but honestly speaking, let's actually run in a bit, maybe. Ah, we got him. We got him. Is the, did, the, did the blade become Fireblade, by the way? I'm still waiting for that to happen. Calm Keeper. I see something there. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with Slash after Dash. Yeah, Slash after Dash is decent. Still trying to avoid these as much as I can. Yeah, a Darkness item. Another of the last two chases, 0 0.9. Very disappointing. And Fire Mod, 0 0.2. Oof, 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 oof. This was previously 0, uh, 1.9 or something. Breathe fire every second, dealing fire damage to strength and fire resistance. Uh, or gain attack speed. Now nah, we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with a uh, fire thing. But it's it's very sad that it's 0 0.2. No dragons were born by this item. It's magic. Maybe if I went with six fire items, something would happen. Quest burning blade complete. Ooh, okay. There is like a whole thing that literally shows you that it's done. Nice, good to know. And does the blade now look actually flamey? Can I see it? Yep, it looks like reddish. Reddish. So we continue with the damage and the move around. Explosion. Nope. Stay away from me. And I am a fire build, so going into fire shouldn't even harm me. Aha! That was a lie. Didn't happen. Dash through here. Okay, let's see what we got. Regain 15 health on dash. What? Oh, this is busted. We take this. You can deal 50% of your contact damage while dashing. That's good, but we're gonna go for this. <laughs> And we unlock that at 200 contact damage. I mean, I have no idea what exactly exists as passives. There are so many different passives that I have found up to this point. So I do really enjoy that. I really enjoy that there are a bunch of different passives. And I hope there are even more that I haven't seen. Like, actually, there are a bunch of more that I haven't seen. I haven't seen the light passives, like, at all. And I also am literally missing an element that I haven't seen at all either. I guess neutral would that be. Yeah, that would most likely be neutral. So, um... Let's continue dashing through, get some regen. Oh, we got level, what is this? Ice Breath. Replace every second Fire Maw breath Breath? This is specifically with the Fire Maw weapon. Wow, there are items for your items. I love it. I love their passives based on what items you have. Replace every second Fire Maw Breath with a very strong Ice Breath, dealing 60 water. Wow, I don't, I don't enjoy that that much, to be honest. Gain 12% XP gain when at almost max health. I do enjoy that. And gain 50%. This nature and then yeah. gain 50% health when you survive a killing blow with Soul of the Badger and emit 15 flames and deal 50 damage. Okay, that's that means that it heals you a lot more. We're gonna go with XP gain here. Once again, the idea being that the more XP you gather, the faster you're gonna power up. Let's see what we can get here. As you see now, he's down to one. So you always from chest to chest, he loses one level, uh, two levels. So as long as you increase the difficulty by one, he's gonna bring it down by two from the next, uh, until you get the next chest. Attack speed, resistance, no, yes, ah, medium, medium. Quantity, dash rate, crit damage, dash damage, yes. Luck, 
Luck. Yeah, luck the stat. And wait, yeah, we're gonna also go for this. Oof. If I only take this. Oof. Six luck is a lot, man. 2G is not that much. Ah, let's take them both. YOLO it. YOLO it. Sif be like, uh, if you don't take a lot and you actually only increase it by one at a time, it's gonna go down. And then Sif be like, okay, uh, let's increase it instantly to the max. <laughs> Instantly to the max. We're gonna get the stats. Okay, now I'm gonna actually stop investing into luck, by the way, because I'm more than 100. And now I actually start, you know, I, I need to start increasing some other things. Which, uh, theoretically, that would be strength, right? I should invest into strength. But will I do that? I'm thinking actually about investing into intelligence, to be honest. I'm thinking about in in investing into damage. Yeah, 30% attack when you don't get hit. Yeah, that's never gonna happen. Uh, low life, you get stats, and you can deal damage on the dash. Yeah, first of all, we're gonna go here. Or here. Yeah, let's go HP and arena. Let's go here. Let's become a slash dash crazy machine. Yes, the one is good and all, but I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a contact damage god. So that is a strength build pretty much. We're gonna be dashing onto opponents and just destroying them. That was YOLO move. That was a crazy YOLO move. 150 damage per damage hit taken. I love it. I love it how we're almost dying here from one hit. But we're also healing like crazy. Okay, epic talents. We're gonna definitely invest in epic talents. I would like to get epic HP regen, epic contact damage, epic... I I, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I guess we're missing a defense for sure. Maybe epic pickup range, which uh, maybe also not a good idea. Epic movement speed, epic dash cooldown. I don't even know what epic cut talents exist. We're gonna see. I just got hit for 300. Uh, there is a good chance we're gonna randomly die here. Because I just read that the difficulty increased just now. And that of course means that we're also gonna be gaining more money. Fire resistance. What's my fire resistance at? 61. Nope. Uh, I don't need this. I guess we're gonna go with at less than 50% health. We gain uh, movement speed, attack speed, and one damage. Which not only sounds that, not only does that sound good, but uh, it also combos with the fact that first of all, I ha I have the passive that says at half life I take half damage or like 40% of this damage or something. That combos with that. And also the fact that um, I have lifesteal. So the less life I have, the more attack speed and damage I gain. Therefore, the more lifesteal I steal. So all in all, really fits the whole idea. Stay away from me. Okay, what did we get as a buff? Okay, we got luck. Very nice. And now it's chest. What did this chest give us? I don't know. Contact damage, 100%. We're gonna take this. What's my fire resistance? Ice, 3d3. Hit vulnerability. Oh, you normally get damage immune for 0.5. This makes it 0.8. Ah, let's go with contact damage. Let's go with contact damage. That is part of our build pretty much. So whoever we touch, it dies. Let's level up. Okay, you see, two points down. Nature damage, bad. A region decent. Fire resistance, decent. Electricity damage, useless. Health, eh, good. But eh. neutral resistance, block. Novice protector, 3000. Oh, we take this right now. Uh, contact damage and crit hit rate. My crit hit rate is 2%. <laughs> contact damage is 40, though. YOLO it. I don't want to YOLO it. Well, honestly, I don't. <laughs> Emergency hammer, by the way, the thing that you break on the wind on. YOLO it. I don't, I don't YOLO it. 100% crit chance seems to be a high amount anyway. And opponents are crazy damn DPS heavy too, so... Whoa! Okay, first of all, I have to say, we definitely have a lot of healing. And I now am also seeing crits. Previously, I was not seeing crits. Now I am seeing crits. So that is something. Uh, let's go away from there. Block, block, block. Yep, exactly. Block, block, block. But contact damage is still contact damage. You're not avoiding that part. Uh, please stay over here. HP region, I think that is the play. So let's take that. So now we have also crazy HP region, which we already had, but now we have even more. I'm not sure if crit uh, HP region was the play. Whoa, 300 damage taken. Whoa, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Why is my movement speed trash? 2000 plus name. What is happening? Why is everything doing so much damage? Chill, bros. I mean, yeah, I know why they're doing so much damage. Yeah, 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 I know, but they also are surviving. I'm losing so much money here. So many levels, so many things. Still alive, still alive. Still alive, still alive. I'm healing, by the way. Don't send chances to control and kill. I'm still avoiding this, by the way. Um, yeah, let's get every resistance and also even more health. Plus intelligence. Maybe a bit of dex for attack speed would help. Help. I don't know why I said it like that. Said a bit weirdish. My skeletons behind me are really mixing me up. I have to say that for sure. My skeleton was completely. I'm not understanding what's happening. Where opponents are, where not. And we're fighting an elite. I just got plus strength, which is of course really good. And also got attack speed buff or something. Because I'm seeing we're attacking a lot. Man, I do enjoy the fact that whenever we block, we gain like a crazy health boost. Uh, let's actually activate this and see what we get. Ooh, but we lose neutral resistance. <laughs> 
Item quality and dash rate. This is the only thing I want. Water resistance and electricity damage. This is common. Um, actually, what's my dash rate? 132%. You know what? Forget it. Let's, uh, let's actually allow him to have his items. Nature resistance. What's my nature? 65. Now that's decent. Heal on level up. Slash is larger than a shoot. A slash that deals 25% of your contact damage and 50 contact damage. Yeah, we're very deep into the whole contact damage idea. I really enjoy that you can off-screen bosses and then they instantly just die. Like, you can run towards the right with full speed force, and then if a boss stays behind, it's dead. <laughs> At some point, the opponents will stop doing that much damage, here in a moment, when I, you know, when I decide to stop stealing everything, which I just did anyway. Here we go. I didn't have that this whole time. 200 weight, epic weight, why? Uh, let's take this, the time has come for the dragon to actually become powerful. Okay, now the dragon is pretty sizable. I, so I didn't have that passive. Which I didn't even check from when I said I'm gonna check if I have that passive. I didn't check. I'm level 29, so theoretically that passive that said plus one intelligence every two levels should have given us around 10. Assuming that I didn't get it instantly. Which I didn't. Like, I, I got it at level 5 or 6 or something. I'm trying to push opponents away. Stay away from me everything and everybody. 105 life. Really, I really enjoy that the blocks he lost. Pick up radius. Epic pick up radius. Can I see my resistance for a moment? Uh, where are my resistances? Electric resistance is my most dangerous one. The rest are decent-ish. Black is extremely good. Life steal is decent. I like that this is like yellow. It's as if, you know, green is what you want. White is trash. Crit damage. Yep, those are trash numbers. I really enjoy that you can see. Oh, you can also see this. Woo, so many things here. I love it. Contact damage is on, isn't even crazy. It isn't even in the green number. Unless this is like the, the overkill number. But this does not seem to be the overkill number. Region is at the very good amount and HP, but contact damage is not. Or, it, or it, it's either that or it's crazy strong. Like, I, I don't know, but this, this doesn't look crazy. And these are definitely on the lower end of things. And this is, of course, crazy. Um, what did I want to check? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. I want to check what my resistance are going with. Electricity. Uh, do I pick up radius? Is that a thing? You know what? We're going to take the pick up radius. I don't want one resistance. You know what? This is actually required by toughness. Let's try to get toughness. Let's get this. Let's try to get toughness. I don't know what toughness is. We're dying over here. I really enjoy the thing that says I heal 50 plus 5% of my life on block every 10 seconds. That's 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 really carrying us as far as I'm concerned. And pickup radius is expedient, by the way. That's why I was thinking about pickup radius. Because we're losing so much XP here. Okay. Uh, my worst one is electricity. And this world electricity has its worst one. So we're not going to pick it up. Toughness is 20% health. Let's take this right now. 1,400. Oh, we're dying. We're dying. We're dying. We're dying. Panic button. Panic mode. Panic mode. What is that waterfall? Love it, though. But what is it? So if be like, what is a waterfall? <laughs> okay, it had, a, it had a something secret and behind it. Classic case of waterfalls. It's a classic waterfall case. Let's see. What do you want? Give us. Okay, first of all, you're chilling. Neutral resistance. Yes, 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 yes. This is a very yes relic. Water damage. No, 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 no. That's a very no relic. Pick up amount, attack speed, and block. This is also very yes. Is it a good idea, though, to do that? I would say no, but you it. And now, very well, now I very well might lose. Um, we're going to go with heal. Overwhelming power up your arsenal is what it's going to unlock for us. Theoretically, I have a lot of life that should protect us from dying. Practically, I just got hit for 400 to dam 700 damage there, so um, forget a lot of health that protect us from dying. That, that's straight up not a thing right now. Oh, avoid, please. Avoid, please. I would like to get electricity resistance, but I have no idea if electricity is even an issue for us. Please stay away from your opponents. Okay, that's an elite. Yep, no movement speed. Ooh, 50% movement speed. Epic speed. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take epic speed. Yeah, that sounds good. I would like to find the epics of electricity, though. Is there even epic? Oh, we're dying! Is there epic block? Also, I would like to get the thing that says, when I revive, I revive with half health. That's gonna definitely make things a bit less anxiety inducing. By the way, you can only get three epic upgrades. That, that's why I was thinking about them. Just, just to be clear about this, so that people aren't like, uh, why didn't you take that crazy upgrade? Man, you didn't take 70% resistance. Are you crazy? Yeah, the, the, you can only take three. So, because resistances are easily gained and movement speed is not, found it. So, 50% uh, health on revive. We now have 81 strength, by the way. 
which just makes us have even more healing, even more regen, even more contact damage, etc, etc. Our elite is a snake. Snakes are one of the worst ones in my opinion. Because their attacks are pretty fastish. Guess what? Snake's dead. There is Agi over there. So now theoretically, I'm assuming that a random box is gonna appear, or did the box already appear? I'm dying. I'm dying. Stay away from me. Whoa! Oh, I died. I think I just died. I either just died or I'm about to just die. Emit a shockwave on level up. Improves every level. What improves every level? Effect damage and contact damage. This is the up your arsenal. Effect damage and contact damage. This is almost useless. Let's go with this though. Regardless of uselessness. Let's see what we can get. He is chilling. Vulnerability and health. Well, you know it. Uh, water damage, attack speed and contact damage. Not really. Attack speed and dash rate but lose health. This is crazy good. Way too strong, coffee. 50 health is bad, of course. No, don't drink that. It's too strong for mortal consumption. Yolo it, man. And it's mine. No, I don't care about that. What's my dash rate? 138. Uh, I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna take everything. Can I not take this? I'm gonna not take this. So we're gonna get rid of the double damage at some point early. But the dash rate thing... Whoa! The dash rate thing and the attack speed thing is definitely bad. Uh-oh. We're not healing enough. Oh, I just lost the life. This was literally me losing the life. So now I need to stay alive for... I need to stay alive for 20 seconds. Which uh, I'm not even sure if that's visible somewhere. So, um... Uh-oh. 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 You're gonna see the screen pop in a moment. You're gonna see the screen pop in a moment. Yep. It's closing in. It's closing in. Whoa! HP regen, weight, and damage resistance. Damage resistance straight up. Oh, this roll 27% electricity. Come on, man. Uh, we're gonna go with the straight up damage resistance. Oh, I, I got healing because I leveled. Oh, I almost died. I got healing because I leveled. Where's my revive? Is my revive back? Who knows? Opponents are running too fast. Opponents are doing a thousand damage. And I just lost my revive again. And are we dying? Look at what's happening on the screen, man. You know what? The time has come. You run, I run. I died. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love it though. Rank 35, gold, Aaron, 2000, progress, 1000 meters. Let's see where we are. Let's submit, of course. I should not have submitted. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm. Uh, people have been playing this game from yesterday, man. Um, so yeah, crazy things are happening over here. Sift 2000. I'm spot 1000 something at the very end. It is what it is. Let's go back. Uh, let's buy things. Upgrade. Yeah, I can upgrade this and I can upgrade that. This is demonic glitch, whatever. We're gonna definitely buy this, no matter what. And uh, we're gonna also buy this thing. What is this? Match stick. High ray fire. Yeah, we're gonna definitely buy a new weapon. And uh, then, with the rest of the money we have, we're gonna try to buy everything that we can. What is this? 0.9. I'm gonna buy the best ones first. Plus zero. Forget that thing. Plus one. Yep, we're gonna buy this. And this. And this. And now we have everything from here. And I also have a bunch of money in the bank. So let's accept. Give him the money, and now we unlocked her. The name, her name is Fire. Excuse me, can you please give me my items? Thank you very much. Now we unlocked Fire. A young woman shocked by grief, wondering how to go on. She met a cut here, baby. Okay, she uh, she has no luck whatsoever, uh, but she has a Fire Dash, short range dash, dealing 85 damage. And then also we got the unique weapons, right? The Blue Flame and the Thunder Blade, which is theoretically from her. Nice, 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 nice. So uh, this time I will actually wait for you guys to see yesterday's video so that uh, I know if people enjoy this or not. And if you guys don't enjoy this, I guess this is the last video for the series. Otherwise, you know, expect more tomorrow. Uh, I really like this game. It is a bit weird to look at. Right now, by the way, it's free. Like, it's a free playtest demo version or whatnot. And as you can see, it already has a bunch of things in here. Although I think they don't have these two things added. This is light. This is... I don't know what this is. Because neutral is this. So this is neutral, fire, lightning, ice, uh, darkness, light. And I have a light weapon, so I know that it's light. I guess nature is what this is. Yeah, this is nature. I haven't found a single nature set item yet, but I have a light bulb. So maybe I could go for a light run tomorrow with a rainbow catcher with an ultra soaker or whatever. Um, by the way, there is a little trick you can unlock things with. You can go into a run. And then, like, instantly... By the way, let me look what the weapons look like. Yeah, the dash flames. Okay, whatever these weapons are. And then this. Fire, fire, fire machine gun. Or boom. Or zzz, flames. Okay, cool. But you can do, like... Okay, I didn't like this run. Let's actually run away. You go options. You go leave the fungeon. That's gonna give you an instant kill. But, but look at this. 
Well, I can't show you anything, but if there were new weapons here, you could have bought them with the money from the previous runs. <laughs> that's what I tried to say. Uh, but whatever, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. The game is really enjoyable in my opinion. I'm still missing light and neutral, uh, light and uh, nature items, but uh, we're gonna get them if I continue playing this. And there most likely are no other weapons right now out. As uh, you saw, the shop didn't have anything. You can always use you specially, even when your attack is on cooldown. I call it the combo. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, yeah, we're gonna see if we're gonna continue this. Otherwise, there are so many games out there. We're gonna transition into some kind of other game if people don't like this. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.